I'm Hyde Trotter. I have a PhD from Princeton's Department of Chemical and Biochemical Engineering. Just as a decade ago, biology textbooks still obscure the mystery of life's origin. A decade ago, you were repeatedly told evolution was not being questioned. That was false then, and it still is. The best current perception is natural selection explains the survival of the fittest, but not the arrival of the fittest. This year's texts hide that. Prof. Adam Wilkins of Berlin's Humboldt University even suggests evolution may be facing a full-fledged Kuhnian paradigm crisis. Students will not sense that from this year's text. I've reviewed Pearson's Biology by Miller and Levine this year and in 2004. This year I documented 38 factual errors and found it even worse in compliance with teaks related to origin of life and evolutionary theory. The text ignores decades of development in evolutionary theory. Parts are up to 50 years out of date. For example, neither the terms neo-Darwinian synthesis nor epigenetics can be found. The same publishers, Campbell and Reese, is much better. In 1980, Harvard paleontologist Stephen J. Gould said Darwinism is effectively dead despite its persistence as textbook orthodoxy and it's not even made it into the history of the book I reviewed. It appears to me this text treatment of evolution is actually dishonest. The 2004 edition compared anatomical and molecular relationships and the teacher was instructed to be sure the student understood they were in conflict. This fact has been deleted from the new edition and the student is told instead every scientific test has supported Darwin's basic idea. Nothing could be further from the truth. Do we have any questions? I think you went under your two minutes. Ms. Hardy? Just curious, uh, the text that was written, and uh, you said in 2004, mm -hmm. uh, it has different authors? Same what? authors. Same authors. Yep. Same authors, same publisher. But they, they changed it up. Well, you know, lots have gone on in 10 years. Yes, well, it's yeah. got a lot of changes in it. But this is a backward change. You said made a step back. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Mr. Mercer. Just two questions. What, what was your PhD again? I'm sorry. My PhD is in chemical engineering. Okay. I did work in reaction kinetics, catalysis, polymers, and And you mentioned a, a conflict in two areas that were not. What are the two areas again? Your you mentioned, I think, the previous uh, version oh, of the textbook the had a the conflict. The previous and version used two terms. actually told the teacher to make sure the student knew that molecular trees and taxonomic trees didn't oh. always match in conflict, exactly what it says. And yet, a different sequence of genome was used in an example that's in this year's book, and the, t the student is in told instead there are no problems. In fact, the statement is, it improves the accuracy of, that's, that's what he says. Thank you. I remember that, the molecular versus tax, yeah. it, they are different, and I yeah. remember that from the past. But that, the, uh, not, not, not in this book. Thank you. Mrs. Knight. No, I reviewed it independently. It was not on, for 2004. I was on a review team this year. Current year I was. Microphone. And pull it, pull it down. There you go. Okay, so uh, you were on a review team this year. Yes, ma'am. So you have turned in that information to uh, the publishers. So we are now in the period I'm guessing or asking, wherein they will have an opportunity to address the errors that you pointed out to them. So we need to wait to see what that those corrections are going to look like? Uh, Ms. Knight, uh, I turned in a complete evaluation that I had made. Then I served in Austin on a team of four, which had one day to look over the same text. We divided things up with different parts. So a lot of the material that I had objected to before does not appear in the team assessment. Subsequent to that, I was provided an email which had an attachment to it, which I was told was the publisher's response. And I dug through that for three days and couldn't find anything that was changed. And then I was told, no, that wasn't. 
that wasn't the publisher's revision, and I subsequently received in the mail a CD which had PDFs of various pages of the text, and I could look and compare that page with the page I had originally reviewed, and in some cases changes were made, but by and large they didn't proofread very much. And this text actually has a section in the back. It's in a thousand-page book. Back in the back, there is a section on methodology of science, which is right. It's fine. And so in those places where I'd made specific objections, some of the pages, instead of making a substantive change to deal with the material in the way intended by the principles established in the back of the book, it just put in and left the things I objected to were still there, and it put in a little thing that said, please turn to page 911. Other questions, Ms. Knight? My question is for you now. Okay. Wouldn't that be on the, when you just said that uh, changes would be made public? Is that right? So right. we would have a chance to I see. I think Dr. Trotter requested when the new content came back for it to be sent directly to him, which it was. So that's what he's talking about. Or his, what he personally recommended uh -huh. as errors and whether they were addressed or not. So Some of them. Yeah. So we will get to see. We will. That's what I'm asking the publishers to get to us as quickly as possible. Yes. Mr. Bradley. Dr. Trotter, you're, you've watched this board for a while, and apparently you followed this process before. In, in your experience and observations, how would you evaluate the board and, more importantly, the TEA's process this time around? Let me say, I, I take my hat off to the people that have had to analyze all these books. It's been a really laborious process. Um, I'm sure they will look back and reach some conclusions themselves as to what would have been better, but I think it would have been much better to get started a lot sooner, and it would have been a much better process if they could actually do what they set out to do in the first place. There was going to be a phase one where individual reviewers would prepare their input, then there was going to be a phase two where I thought the people, multiple people were supposedly going to be reviewing these books. These people would get together in Austin and they would come up with a consensus and then there would be some kind of a final phase three review. And uh, I think for no fault of the TEA, just a lot of reviewers were pokey. And uh, by the time we we're supposed to get together and have the multiple P, multiple reviewer session. Uh, everybody wasn't ready to go. So they sort of collapsed all of that into a phase three. And I'm sorry that it was so rushed up. You well, give, give, give the agency a grade for me. One last a, B, no, C. don't. <laughs> don't. I've had some tough jobs in my life. That's a We're, tough job. I got some grades I didn't like. I don't want to give right. them a grade yeah. I didn't like. Yeah. We're, we're reevaluating <laughs> in They deserve in November. E for effort. I right. Think. Well, that's, that's what I was looking for. Thank you. Madam Chess, may I have a, one request then? Yeah. Could you send me, could you send the whole board just an example of what was in 2004 versus what's missing now? Uh, that is all I have uh, sent to uh, Christopher Lucas. My, my 18 pages, I think it was, of detailed stuff. So it's all in there. Us. I Good. mean, I. I put a lot of effort and sweat into this. I've got in there references to the things that are not from our friends at the TFN. Like I say, anybody who doesn't like these books is just... Okay, let's, we're not going to mention okay. names of people uh, or organizations. I, I have put in references, and I've got here a list of six no. books that make the points that I'm making, and they are done by very reputable sites. They've done a long time ago. Back in 2003, MIT Press published a book called Origination of Organismal Form. This was the first really major statement that we've got to do some head scratching about this. We don't, we don't know how these forms originate. Okay, Mr. Mercer, did you have another question? No, I'm fine, but as long as that's available to me and all my colleagues, I'm fine. Okay, with it. and I want to mention, you. I thank you to all of the reviewers. I've got the spreadsheet here that gives the names of the reviewers and what their uh, educational degrees are and what their jobs are. And, We've got some amazing people who reviewed our books, in including you with your um, PhD. So thank you for that. Um, okay.